Good morning, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson. And I am Corey McFan. And you're watching Married to College Sports. So today, we are sad to say it is going to be the last day of GLEC matches. All good things must come to an end. But we still have three matches for you today. Our Smash team will be going up against Manchester University in a couple minutes. And then at noon, our Overwatch team will be playing against Baldwin Wallace. And then at 1 o'clock, our Rocket League team will be going up against St. Francis. And that will conclude the GLEC season for this semester. But we still have a couple other things coming your way. So we're not completely done just yet. So while we are getting things set up for the Smash match, we'll go over a couple of things. So first of all, who will be playing on the Smash team this morning? So we have here... Uh, freshman Peyton Angle, Ginger Ale playing. We will have sophomore Zach Lane, The Weed playing. And we will have our captain freshman Mason Rice Cheshire playing. Uh, and then, of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games, Games Grump. But, yeah, so it looks like Manchester is uh, joining the lobby real quick. So we're going to throw some quick announcements. So first of all, shout-outs to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Marriott College Esports. They provide our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, uh, microphones and so forth the quality is great if you would like to get your own HyperX gear please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES the QR code is up on your screen also want to give a shout out to over the moon pizza for their support uh, every Tuesday is married at college night where if you go to their restaurant on front street and show them your married college ID you get a discount on food and drinks they'll have a Nintendo switch up so you can play some Smash Bros. yourself or some Mario Kart or some Mario Party. They'll also be airing our matches uh, that are streamed live. Now, when the season's over, they'll pick videos from our YouTube channel. So you can still watch some of our matches over there. So definitely check them out uh, every Tuesday. We are always looking for more students for our esports program. So we do have varsity titles in uh, Fortnite, League of Legends, uh, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, Valorant, and we're always considering other possible titles. Uh, we have our dedicated facility here on campus. Uh, we also have uh, several coaches, including Derek, and his, uh, coaches for some of our other titles. We do try to provide programming support uh, for our students, so we want to see them do well uh, in the classroom and in esports, and of course, scholarships are available. So if you would i uh, like to hear more about it. Please go to linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. So the link, our link tree, which has our social media channels and all sorts of other links. Speaking of scholarships, uh, yes, we do offer scholarships. You do have to try out for it. Uh, our last tryout date is actually going to be on Saturday, April 15th. So if you are a high school senior or a college transfer and you want to go to uh, Marietta College and be a part of the esports program, this is the time to sign up. So you can go to our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash MC recruit, and then go to uh, schedule the tryout at bit.ly slash MC eSport tryout, and then join our Discord server at bit.ly slash pilot Discord. The QR code is on your screen, so screenshot it, um, but time is running out. After April 15th, we cannot guarantee that we will be able to offer any more scholarships uh, for incoming students. And then we're also going to throw in one more announcement. Next Friday, April 7th, is going to be the Marietta Esports Campus Clash at the Gathering Place. This will be a 1v1 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament. It is open to all Marietta College students, Marietta College students, faculty, and staff. That's right, you heard it. Students, faculty, and staff. So, we are hoping that we're going to see some professors come by and compete. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some staff members. We just want to see everyone come together and have some fun. It is $5 to participate. Uh, all the proceeds will go to help support the eSports program. And we do have gift cards for the top three winners. So we have a $50 gift card from Over the Moon Pizza, $50 gift card from Cadoba, and $25 gift card from Boathouse Barbecue. So you would, uh, winners will be able to choose which gift card they want. But uh, we will also be trying to stream that match on Friday or the whole tournament. So that way you can kind of see all the actions going on. Of course, we can't necessarily stream every single game that goes on, but we'll try to stream what we can. Yeah. It'll be fun. But, all right, uh, it looks like they're just about ready. It looks like it's going to be town and city. And I think Ginger Ale is leading off with Corn. So now we're just going to wait to see 
um, what Manchester's going to be leading with. We're just kind of keeping an eye here in the the lobby here, so when we know when everyone's ready, that we'll get things underway. So we're still waiting here. Yeah, we're still waiting. In fact, you know what? We'll just go ahead and, and go to the, the lobby. That way you guys can see as well. Yeah, we're, we're waiting. And they're going with some Persona music this time. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Mm -hmm. Nice little pre-hype music. So weird dancing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the music. It's nice little music to wake up to on a Saturday morning. I just woke up, mm -hmm. so I mean... <laughs> All right. While we're waiting, I, I should mention we do have one more thing. Uh, we don't have a an actual like, um, image for it, but tonight at 8 o'clock, we will have a special presentation for you. Uh, we are going to be debuting one of our newest esports teams. So I recommend that you check that out. Uh, this team's been working very hard all semester to prepare for this match. So, uh, so yeah, come back tonight at 8 o'clock to, uh, to check that out. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, so it looks like uh, Marietta is ready. So we're just waiting for Manchester to be ready. I don't even want to say anything, I just want to listen to this music, it's just so good. <laughs> exactly. Just sitting here listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like Manchester is ready. And we're gonna see Young Link come out. I haven't seen that character get played yet. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, he debuted in uh, the Smash and Melee for the GameCube. Or was he actually? Two, one, actually, was he a special character in the '64? Now I gotta double check here. We're seeing Corrin already trying to get some hits in, but Young Link already retaliating. But Corrin's already at 53%. Tries to go for the charge, doesn't quite get it. Back to back. <laughs> yeah, Young Link was debuted in Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's what I thought. But yeah, Corrin already at 107%. Young Link's only at 37. So Ginger has got to be very careful with all the different tools that Young Link has. Throws the up smash and already takes down one stock of Ginger Hill. Tries to throw out the bomb for the combo and still gets hit by it. But yeah, with all of those different range attacks, it's just, it's one of the things that makes like Link type characters very difficult because you have the range attacks with the boomerangs and the arrows and the bombs, but also has some good melee. So a very well balanced character. We do see a good smasher coming out by uh, Ginger Ale, but not enough to launch Young Link off the platform. And actually, I think there was some talk that Young Link is better than uh, maybe Toon Link for this. Might be why we're seeing Manchester uh, going with it. Another great smash hit, but Corinth once again at 143%. Ginger Ale tries to go for the stun, doesn't quite get it, but does take out one stock from Young Link. But she is at a very high percentage, so it is it's a little bit of a danger zone, yeah. and there goes the stock. Yeah, just as you mentioned it. Now Ginger Ale's at the their last stock. Tries to go for the stun in the air, but 
See Link completely retaliating on that. But right now it is neck and neck damage wise. Tries to go for the counter, hits it, but it's just a little too short from the range. Does hit get by the up smash. That looks like a very forgiving hitbox on that up smash there. Yeah, it... I mean, he does have a sword that has some range to it. Great follow-up there on the hit. But yeah, that up smash can be really deadly for Young Link. And throws the counter and not able Aww. to get back. That was unfortunate. A missed input and Young Link will uh, win the round. Ginger Ale does get one stock off of Young Link. But uh, still, Pioneers are down, down by two. And it looks like the weed is going to be coming in. Uh, we're probably going to see that little Mac come out. He likes to play that. And he's got to be careful against um, Young Link with that matchup because with Young Link's up smash involves a lot of launching in the air and Little Mac just does not do well in the air. So we'll have to see how he does against it. Come for a little bit of a change of skin here. Than what he usually does. Yeah, he usually likes to go with like the wire mesh type skin, but I guess we'll change things up a little bit. And it looks like small battlefield will be the map. He is gonna want to close this gap against this young link. Looks like everyone's in, so they should be starting up. So here we go, Little Mac against Young Link. Alright, so there's the, the SD there. ready but already seeing that Link's trying to take advantage of the fact that Little Mac does not have a lot of range. And Young Link is not giving the weed any chance. Does go for a counter punch. Gets one hit. Already KO is enabled. That is the fastest I've ever seen that KO punch brought up. It looks like he had to use it to get back onto the stage. Yeah, he did. And shields that charged punch. Does get the stun and oh, it actually knocks him knocks off. off! Straight off! Doesn't even need <laughs> That was an insane play there. Getting that stun and then just fall into his death. That that's actually really good, because I don't think he the young link was at a high enough percentage to actually be launched off. Not even close. I mean, that's the thing about Smash. And unfortunately, it goes down when the KO gets enabled. But the thing about this game that people don't realize is it's not always about how much damage you do. It's you got to get them off the platform. So sometimes uh, teams will come up with a strategy. I don't know if that was intended. But like what some teams will do is they'll try to use tricks just to get people off the platform and not give them a chance to get back on. I was waiting for that punch to land. A perfect block there. And go ahead and try to get it into the air. But he is back. Oh, and a missed just input. Just missed it. Yeah, I, I, it was a missed input, I think. So now he's down to the last stock. The young link is at a relatively high percentage. Well, that's the thing about Little Mac. I mean, he does hit pretty hard. Once again, young link's trying to use 
Range until the end. Boomerang does come back and strike him. Yeah, the weed's trying to find an opportunity, but Nyonglin's gonna wait for that smash to land. But yeah, those boomerangs though can be really annoying because it comes back, does pop the shield at the last second, but gets hit by another boomerang. KO is enabled now. And if the Weed can land this, I think it would be a KO. But he does lose it right at the last second. And now he's getting launched into the air. Does get back onto the platform. But still, those arrows and boomerangs are going to be a problem. And it's getting a little bit... But Wait. he is going to get him out! Ooh, he was at such a high percentage. It was just, it took it yeah. would take one hit to launch him off the map. At 141%, but he does take out uh, Young Link at the nick of time, too. I think he's about ready to go for a killing blow. So Marietta does take the round, but it is still four stocks to six. So Manchester's going to have a two stock lead going into this next matchup. But Marietta is only down by two, and if the Wii can deal a decent amount of damage to this next player's stocks, mm -hmm. then that's that's a good puts Marietta back at a great position. Yeah, if it can at least like maybe take out two stock before going out, but but that's the thing about Little Mac though. Is, once he's in the air, once he's off the platform, it is hard to get back. Definitely, he sh it should be five to six. I think with that one missed in that missed input definitely made a factor uh, trying to get back on the platform. But that's one of Little Max's biggest weaknesses. I think now they're just still discussing over the uh, which map it's going to be. Manchester will get to choose. And it looks like it's going to be Final Destination. Oh, are they changing up the music for this? Sometimes you just got to get the right music. You got to get that jam so you're in the right mindset. Oh! Okay. Three, two, but we does have to drop two stocks. Yes, he does. But this is going to be oh my a goodness. match up. Little Mac versus Little Mac. Here we go. Who's the best Little Mac? But with the Wii already down to just one stock, this could be a challenge. I'm gonna take a, a stab here and like Manchester's already qualified for the playoffs, so they may be just picking some characters to have a little bit of fun. Because they know they don't have much to lose uh, in this matchup. And just like that, Little Mac takes down Little Mac and the weed is out. He did only have one stock, so Yeah. It wasn't necessarily yeah. a one v one. Right, yeah. <laughs> It would have been more interesting if it was like a 3v3. But still, that was very fun to watch. It, 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 it was interesting to see in general. Mm -hmm. Not even necessarily watch the fight, just, it's just the shock factor. Mm -hmm. Well, it was just like the other day uh, when Smash was playing Quinnipack, we actually had uh, dual Corrins playing each other. But it will be Cheshire and will be uh, on the Donkey Kong. So the thing that Cheshire, the advantage is he knows how to play against Little Mac because he and the Weed have been sparring for quite some time. But he does have to take down two players to bring Mario yep. Edda back in this. Which is possible, but Cheshire just has to watch any missed inputs.
It also has to recognize that Little Mac does hit hard. Already seen punches going left and right. Although the one advantage I think that uh, Cheshire has is Donkey Kong's arms are a little bit longer, so he's going to have a bit a bit wider range. The KO does go off, but not a whole lot of damage. And a great start there by Cheshire. Already taking down one stock off of this little mech. It's actually able to stop the charge smash. And he still has his charge swing ready to go. But a counter comes out by uh, Little Mac to take down Cheshire. So now he's down to two stock left. So he's going to try to take advantage of the fact that Little Mac just cannot get back on there. Oh, he almost missed input right there. But now if Cheshire can take down the Little Mac without dropping another stock, that would put him in really good position for the last round. Goes for the uppercut. Shields the, the charge smash, but still going to be pretty difficult. Because Donkey Kong's at 99%. One good hit by the uh, Little Mac will take down a stock. Oh, I thought that was it right there. No, nope, not yet. Ah, oh, tries to go for the smash attack there, doesn't get it. Still up. Gets the block and does end up going down. The KO is enabled by Little Mac. So now Cheshire is on last stock. The KO does whiff. Does get the counter in. So it is a little tense for Cheshire down through last stock. And he's going to try the launch move. And is able to pull it off. There's just nothing Little Mac can do against that. Yeah. Actually, I think I forgot to press a button here. So yeah, Manchester should be down to three. And Marianne is on the one. You have yeah, I there. somehow my... I must have hit the wrong... I think I must have accidentally hit one of Marietta's... Uh, instead of Manchester. So that's my bad, but it is one to three. There we go, that's better. And Marietta, is, Cheshire has to take down all three stock without losing one in with, order for Marietta to win this one. Which is possible, but we're going to see what Manchester's going to bring out. I don't want to jinx anything, but I know Manchester has a really good Steve player. And Minecraft Steve is not banned in the GLEC. Ah. Pesky Steve plays. So that's a that's a possibility. The ruling in the GLEC is they can't use the the uh, exploits that was discovered earlier this semester. And I wouldn't expect Manchester to use that attack anyway, because I mean, if they did, then they would forfeit the match. But uh, I'm just saying that could be a possibility if their Steve player hasn't already played Young Link or Little Mac. And we're going to see Banjo-Kazooie coming out. Ooh. I don't think I've seen Banjo-Kazooie. Classic character, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the, the N64 games. But, all right, we're having a little fun here, but... All right, everyone is ready. So... Cheshire needs to take down all three stock of Banjo-Kazooie. And already doing pretty well against Banjo. Uses one of it, uses several of his invulnerability feathers. 
but does launch Banjo in the air. Already gave him to 92%, but taking some hits from the grenades. Tries to go for the, the charge attack, doesn't hit. Banjo's gonna be, Duncan's gonna be really careful because he is still down to one stock. Tries to go for the finisher. And does take down one. Still has to take down two more and he's already at 60%. Yeah. With Banjo and Kazooie, all, all they have to do is kind of chip away at Donkey Kong's health. Yeah, and he's already over 100%, so that puts him in kill range. And that's going to be it. So Manchester will take the first game. But Marietta was able to uh, get Manchester down to, to two stock remaining. So, I mean, with all that, still pretty good performance of the Pioneers. But, I mean... I am going to guess a little bit that it's possible that Manchester maybe having their JV team in or maybe have a little bit more fun because, as I said, there's they're already in the playoffs. There's This point could just be fun for them, but that's okay because it gives an opportunity for our team to just keep working. We are seeing improvements uh, from the Smash team. We are seeing a lot of improvements, a lot from the team in the semester. Mm -hmm. but, all right, so we are getting things set up for the second game. Uh, trying to see who will be next. And I think everyone's maybe just taking a couple minute break. So we'll take a small breather ourselves as uh, they're just kind of getting things set up here. But we'll be back in just a minute with game two with Meredith College versus Manchester University. Alright, and welcome back. We are getting things set up for the next game here. Uh, it looks like uh, Yeah, Corey is going to be start off and it looks like it's gonna be a me fighter coming out from uh, Manchester, so it's gonna be me sword fighter And I think it is allowed Just have to disclose like the abilities, but we will see it might function a little bit like Link. Me Fighter is a weird one. Yeah, because like you can choose the abilities. So it's kind of like your own custom Smash character. I did not expect to see one though. 
Yeah, like I said, I think they're having some fun with the uh, with the game because so there's not really any risk. But we're seeing that uh, Ginger is struggling to land a hit. Just now, finally get one hit uh, in the matchup. Just seeing a lot of damage coming out from the sword fighter. And gets hit by the tornado and does get taken down. But yeah, I think that's the fact that the, the sword fighter is kind of throwing off ginger ale because. It's just hard to predict what you might be going up against uh, with a custom character. So yes, the court's already at 150%, trying to go for the counter, but... Uh, Sword Fighter is not buying it. And Jadrell drops another stock. Struggling to take down one stock from Sword Fighter. Tries to go for the counter, but just a little short in range. Has to go for the stun, but does not connect. Counters the tornado. Not in the range to actually get any damage off with the counter. Yeah. That's the thing with Sword Fighter. Yeah, it functions a lot like Young Link. I mean, you got the range dash with the tornado. Does get that counter off with that slash, though. having struggle struggling against those tornado attacks and that is gonna not nope. take out ginger ale not still, quite yet still up but that will that, do it that one will do it And it looks like Chefshire is saying, okay, I'm coming in to take on this uh, sword fighter. But the uh, the knee sword fighter does not drop a stock. Now, me sword fighter was a little unexpected, to be fair. Mm hmm But Cheshire is going to bring out the Donkey Kong. Which could be a challenge against this sword fighter because of those discs and tornadoes. Still going to have that range advantage. Kirby series song coming from here. What are we getting? What are we getting? I feel it. Yeah, I, I can dig this. I have to say, the Nintendo system had some really good music back then. Alright, so we'll see how Donkey Kong does against the Sword Fighter. See, so very blocks the attack. They immediately start using those tornadoes and up attacks.
Tries to launch Sword Fighter in the air, but still doing a ton of damage to Donkey Kong. And just immediately takes down Donkey Kong without much uh, resistance. Just very difficult to kill against those discs and tornadoes, as we we're saying before. Okay, whoever made this custom loadout for this mini sword fighter really thought about it in their play style. Not giving Cheshire a lot of chances. Already at 119% on their second stock. And already taken down. Swordfighter's at 77%. Does launch him in the air. Trying to go for a finish off while in the air, but doesn't quite get it. Has to use the shield for both the disc and tornadoes. And we've seen that charged sword smash. But that is going to take down Cheshire. So once again, getting the sword fire to 129%, but not dropping a single stock and now it's just going to be up to the weed yeah it, it as of now it's looking like this me fighter might sweep marietta it's definitely possible and the, the we will be on little mac and it's going to come down to staying on the platform because if he does go in the air it's going to be a problem. But now they're going to be selected the, the stages. Street Fighter music. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Street Fighter going on. But, all right. So now it's going to be up to the Wii to try to take down this Me Fighter. Does not drop a single stock in this game. Already using those discs. Trying to dodge as many of the abilities as possible. That's one of the downsides with very melee heavy characters. They just do not have an answer to these ranged attacks. Keep throwing out discs, tornadoes. The KO is up, but as we see, the, the weed just does not have the recovery to get back from the platform. It already loses a stock. Yeah, that's the downside of Little Mac. Once you're off, you're off. Yeah. There is no coming back from that. It tries to go for the charge launch, but actually gets charged himself. KO is already enabled, but misses. Using that. Actually uses his punch to get through the tornado. Trying to eat away at the shield. Does launch him in the air, but will recover. But another launch in the air by the Meat Sword Fighter, and will take him out down to his last stock. At this point, just take off a stock off of this Meat Fighter already. Well, it's going to be easier said than done. There is a reason why Manchester is number one in the conference.
tries to go for the, the launch. KO is enabled, but can the weed take out one stock of this sword fighter? Tries to go for it, doesn't connect. And I don't know if that was a missed input or... But very uncharacteristic of Sword Fighter, but does drop a stock. I think it might have been accidental. But and that is going to be game for uh, the match. So Manchester will win with eight stock remaining. It wasn't a full sweep. No, it was not. But all right, Manchester will take the win and. I mean, we kind of anticipated this was going to be the outcome. Because, like I said, Manchester is number one in the GLEC right now. And we've seen some really good Smash teams. So the fact that Pioneers did very well against the number one team, and even though Manchester was maybe even using your JV players or maybe even using some characters they normally don't use, they played very well. Yeah. But, okay, so that is going to be the conclusion of the Smash season for this semester. So... Uh, we do thank you for watching, and the team's going to keep working on it. They're going to keep improving, and I think we're going to see some great things coming uh, in the, the fall semester. But we do have some more matches for you today. So Overwatch will be back at noon, and Rocket League will be back at 1. So I think what we're going to do is, we'll, since we have a little bit of time, we're going to give the stream a chance to breathe. We'll take it down, but we'll bring it back up about 11.30 Eastern time. So that way you guys can get ready for the uh, Overwatch match. So for all the latest updates with Let's Go on with Married to College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope to see you back in about an hour to cheer on Corey and the, the Overwatch team as they go up against Baldwin Wallace University. All right. You guys have a good one.